Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Inspired Creations HOM brings to you another episode of Revelations. This is going to be a little, little more unique than usual. Uh, this is our catch-up episode because we've actually been busy the last couple of weeks and we've missed some episodes. So joining you once again is myself, the most influential speaker from the House of M. Coming with me again is this guy over here, Diggs. Say hello, everyone, Diggs. Hello, everyone, and today's snack is on Airhead Mystery Flavored. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to reveal you, reveal to you the mystery flavor of the Airhead. Okay, well, it is time. I like folding them in half for some reason. Like pizza, I like folding pizza in half. Can you tell the flavor it is? Mm -mm. No? Well, the mystery continues. All right, we get, because we're doing a catch-up episode, we have a lot of stuff to show you. We're going to go through as much of this all we can, but the weeks that we've missed, which I, this might be our third week, actually, we're going to be showing you three weeks worth of stuff here. So bear with us. We got uh, some Hot Wheels. We'll start with that. Of course, comic books, some more mystery reveals, and we got Digs over here bringing you some Lego stuff and um, something from... Denny's. Did I get the restaurant right? Mm -hmm. Something from Denny's. We can't wait to see. And Mighty Con. And Mighty Con. We got stuff from Mighty Con. I got to show you too. Sorry, right, let's get right into it. Hot Wheels. Uh, we picked up this car, and this is going to be called. This is from the HW Ride On series. So this is the Aisle Driver. So again, pick these up because they looks like they can uh, fit or accommodate a Lego minifigure. This one, as Diggs pointed out before the show, comes with a figure. So this is new for 2017. It's got a shopping cart with a little ride-on guy there. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we pick, I found this on out too. I found this one as well. And this is the Beatles Yellow Submarine. I saw two of them in the store, so I picked both of them up, of course. Um, this is from their Hot Wheels Screen Time series, 5 out of 10. So the Beatles Yellow Submarine. Pretty cool looking. Again, picked two of those up because they had two. This is from The Fate of the Furious. This is something I haven't seen before or have gotten before. So this is uh, the Ice Charger <clears throat> from the brand new movie, uh, The Fate of the Furious. The screen time car. So that looks pretty cool there. Nice. I haven't seen the movie, though. I'm sure it's pretty darn good. Uh, Batman Hot Wheels. We've got a Batmobile here. This is um, from Gotham, no, the Bat Dawn of Justice, the Batman Superman movie. So it's got a, a silver kind of metallic color look in there. So that's a brand new one. Pretty cool. Um, so there's, there's five of these Batmobiles that are out there right now, and I've gotten one of them. I've gotten another one right here that I'm going to show you, but which is interesting is that this one, they had two of this guy, so I um, picked two of these up, of course. you got to buy them at re regular retail. So this is the Bat... Come on, focus. <laughs> this is the Batmobile car, and notice the color. You can see that. There we go. So notice the color. So this is, from the, this is the exact same car, but the color is a much uh, brighter metallic silver there. So very interesting. We'll put them side by side. One's a, like a jet black. I don't know if it's jet black, but a, a matte black maybe. And this is the more silver car. So same exact car, same number, four out of the five, and they're different colors. So that's actually could I, pretty cool. Could I look at them really quick? Yeah, sure, Dix. Go ahead. Take a look. Um, so those are the Hot Wheels for this week. I have uh, a Hot Wheel. Oh, you want to show it? Show it. Show it over on Hot Wheels. Oh, that's right. You do have a Hot Wheel. Forgot about that guy. So, went to a store. I saw it, and, and this one, and it was cool. And, yeah, that was a, okay. Well, here it is. It is a bottle cap, Happy New Year car. I saw this earlier in the year, too, and, uh, yeah, it's a very cool one. Um, Dig saw it, picked it up immediately. But, yeah, it's like a bottle. Uh, we'll call it champagne. And, it's called uh, the carbonator. The, car <laughs> the carbonator, pretty cool. But yeah, that's a nice little fun car that we've seen and uh, worth the collection. And turns out, I did read the back of it. I can't see it currently, but it actually works as a bottle opener. What? Let me see. Where does it say I that? I saw that. You thought you saw yeah, it. If I didn't, yeah. Always in automatic holiday mode, whatever you're celebrating, the carbonator. There it is. 
it has a picture in the back of the box that says it's a bottle opener and sure as sure as sure as uh digs is called digs there it is there's the animation showing how you open the bottle and we'll flip it around here so you can see the part of the car there's the bottle opener look at that digs you just got a bottle opener for 94 cents probably or a dollar nine that's what the regular retail is interesting very cool functioning hot wheel not just for playing you could open your bottles of champagne now. pretty slick i didn't notice that that was nice anything any other hot wheels moving right into comics then this is three works three weeks worth of comics so bear with me uh mainly from dc dc justice league of america number nine this is the continuing story of max son um i'm actually pretty close to dropping justice league of america uh it's been just okay. However, issue eight, the first appearance, I believe, of Maxon made it interesting again. So I'm actually looking forward to reading issue number nine. So issue number nine, Justice League of America. Maxon is back. We'll see what he has to bring. Uh, Action Comics 982. Fantastic. Superman is at his best again with these books. If you are not reading DC Rebirth's Superman titles, Superman and Action Comics, you are really missing out. Uh, Detective Comics from Batman, issue 959 has come out this past week. Batman looks like he's got a guest star there. Who is that, Dig Diggs? Zatanna. Zatanna. So I can't wait to read that one. That looks really interesting. Love Zatanna. The Flash. Here's another DC title. If you are not reading it, Flash 25. Fantastic. This one is just really good it's got the reverse flash coming back um and and if you had read the button series you saw what happened to the reverse flash in there so seeing him back is quite surprising but there's the flash number 25 has come out uh batman issue 25 this is uh yeah it's classic tim sale cover art here had to pick up this version again when you buy your dc rebirth titles more often than not they have different uh covers and I always, at least with the Batman ones, I've been picking the Tim Sale art classic. Looks very, very cool. Oh, man, I'm saying this like a broken record here. Aquaman. Here's a little bit of, here's a little difference. You need to read Aquaman. You don't need to, but it's highly recommended, at least for me, to uh, get issue number one and read all the way through 25. This series is fantastic. I'll probably go into more detail on our new podcast, Comic Complex, where we discuss comic books only and how good this series is. But Aquaman 25 has come off very, very good. Um, an extra size anniversary issue. So with the extra size uh, anniversary issue, the price has gone up. That uh, Aquaman one was as well. So normally they're two ninety nine. The DC Comics are now three ninety nine when they say the extra size anniversary issue. But here's Superman issue twenty five again. Um, there's Superboy under the guise of uh, this villain here, and uh, Superman's laid out to pasture. I think I know who he is, but I forgot his name. It's a uh, black, black something, black. Starts with an M. Black Manchester. Okay. Black Manchester. Yeah, I never heard of him uh, until I started reading that. So I never Very heard of cool him until though. Lego Batman 3. Oh, Manchester Black. That's what it is. It's not Black Manchester. It's Manchester Black. Uh, All-Star Batman has come out as well these past few weeks. Issue number 11. We're here. This title. Very close to dropping. It's good. It just wasn't, it wasn't clicking with me. But I caught up on the series and I'm caught up to this issue, actually, and I was mistaken. This series is well done. It is not like the other Batman titles out there. Um, th he's taken villains and made them phenomenally well, and it's more than just dialogue. It's almost like a narration of a story. So All-Star Batman uh, is pretty, pretty worth your penny there. $4.99 for that issue. Beware the prices. Uh, all right, back to normal prices, two ninety nine. Justice League, um, issue 23 there. Look, look, looks like they got Aquaman and Flash and some trouble. So I can't wait to see what the heck, see what they did to get in, in uh, chains there. Batman continues. Look who's on the cover, the Joker. 
Very interesting there. Bat this is issue Batman number 26. Worth your read. Worth your read. Worth your read. Is that a phrase? Uh, Superman continuing issue number 26. Remember uh, Manchester Black was on the other cover showing uh, he was in trouble and he got Superboy looking all evil. Well, look at this. Father and son here. Looks like they're back. Thank you. Good read here. This is Superman issue 26. Justice League comes back again. So we saw Aquaman and Flash and Chains. Well, now we see Mera. She is flipping cool. I like Mera a lot, especially in the Aquaman title. So I don't know what she's doing in there. And those are all my DC titles. Image Comics has released some uh, very interesting titles here. This one, oh man, I had to pick it up. I yeah, you see the look on Diggs' face. This is called Shirtless Bear Fighter from Image Comics number one. I it just looked weird. I actually flipped through the book to see if it was worth my time and worth $3.99, mind you. And I it looked funny, but it looked cool as well. So this is one of those books where it doesn't take itself too seriously, obviously from the title alone. But I haven't read this yet. I'll probably read that and kind of talk about it in Comics Complex. Uh, and then can also from Image Comics, issue number six, uh, God Country. This is a phenomenal series. Mature readers only. This is very cool, centering around an old man with fighting Alzheimer's and his family and his shaking the table digs <laughs> um the alzheimer's goes away when he has this sword and this sword is from the gods god country pick it up i highly recommend it if you have to get second third printings of the issues do it it's very very good again for mature readers digs why don't you show us what you have next okay um where should i start pick one i'm gonna start with mighty con mighty con here we go mighty con uh returned to the state fairgrounds we had a phenomenal time it was really fun we saw a lot of stuff a lot of vendors a lot of cool things um picked up uh picked up some things and we're gonna show you what they are I got this cool Spider-Man card thing. It's uh, from a local artist. So she actually sketched that out and uh, colored it in, and it was only a buck. So very, very happy to um, fund those types of artists, especially when art's cool and fun looking as that Spider-Man. Okay. Here, I'll hold. Let me hold ne it. No. Next, I have <laughs> a custom-made Amiibo. Custom made amiibo. Custom made amiibo. And the reason I got this is because whoever doesn't like this person is just weird. What if they don't know who the person is? If they don't, search them up. All right. Google search them. Punch out. Punch out. And this is none other than Little Mac. Little Mac. So what makes this version customized? Be usually... He's just in his regular fighting wear, but this time he's in his jogging suit. Yeah, forgot it. <laughs> yeah, the normal one that you see in stores, he's in his shorts, right? His boxing shorts. This one's he's in his uh, uh, jogging suit, his workout gear, customized. So you, you know, this is handcrafted. The outfit is anyway. And tell him why you got this version. Why I got this version is because in the Super Smash Bros. When I play Little Mac, I have this skin on because you can choose different skins. And what's a skin for those that don't know? A skin is a different way of what they look. So, yeah, skin is like if you have a character who looks like Little Mac in his boxing shorts, a skin is something you can download and customize your online play or not on your gameplay. Um, so this is one of the skins, the outfits uh, that he can wear and pick that up at MightyCon. Next, I have Legos. Legos. Now, this is cool because I've wanted this minifigure as soon as the mystery pack came out. As soon as it came out and I saw this figure, I was like, I have to have it. 
Is that suede? It's suede. Oh, I love suede. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're ready, I, dude. <laughs> and I got Stitch. Hey, Stitch from the Disney Mystery Packs. Very, very cool. Then, hey, he's so from, cute. also from MightyCon, I have some Marvel Legos. And I have... What do you got? Vulture. All right. Scorpion. Sub Zero. Oh, sorry. Which I think mm -hmm. is pretty cool. <gasps> With his tail. His, his tail's really cool. Is it bend? No. No. Just wondering. Be cool. Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. And White Tiger. Now this one's available in what set? This is the reason why you didn't it, you have that it's one. It's available only in a big set, like sets that are, have like a thousand pieces and cost like fifty dollars. So got them for money. That is cheaper than forty dollars. Yeah, these are all available of like various um, four for ten. Or I think maybe four for two, uh, something like that. They're they're much cheaper than getting the actual big sets. Any other Legos? Yes, from C two E two. C two E two rewinding a little bit, so not from this past week, but we've been delayed. We never showed them. Show them. Until now, I am going to get the Star Wars ones out. Star Wars is a good property. Well. Starting with the one that I dropped. All right. Chewbacca. Chewie. Comes with his crossbow. Very cool looking. Dead air. Love oh. it. <laughs> Love it. A battle. It was uh, Destroyer. Destroyer? Destroyer? No, no. Super Battle Droid. Super Battle Droid. You're, right. you're right. You're right. I like the color on this one. It's like a dark gray. You're not going to be able to see the detail, but no, there's no color work. But yeah, very cool. Uh, Super Battle Droid. I personally forgot this guy's name, but he was from Rogue One. So you know that he died. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, if For the you, well, if you haven't it. seen it yet, and well, it's too bad. Forgot his name. Base. Has, what? Base. Bays. Yeah. Bays. And but you can't have him without the other guy. His buddy. My buddy. My favorite Chirrut. character in the movie, Chirrut. I am one with the force. That's what you know these guys for. This is he says it a lot. I am one with the force. The force is with me. And then this guy says it too, Bays. So there they are. There's the tandem from uh, Star Wars Rogue One. Very cool. I like these guys. I like these are my favorite ones that you picked and up from C2E2. Him specifically. To conclude the Legos. Concluding Legos. I have someone from Dragon Ball Z slash Dragon Ball Super. Okay. And his name is Goku, but Kakarot. he is Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, with a Dragon very Ball. nice. Oh, with a dra one star Dragon Ball. That's actually really, really cool. I love the blue hair on this one. And before I Super Saiyan have, Blue. Before I I got this Dragon Ball, I had the four star one and five star, I'm pretty sure. But since I was moving <laughs> cases of Lego minifigures, yeah. I, it turns out or so I had space for these guys because I have quite a few few. So I put the Dragon Ball Z Lego minifigures inside of their own case. And I rediscovered um, a Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Master Oshi. Oh, nice. Well, you got to keep them together, especially these ones that you get off uh, on the onesies, twosies from the conventions and stuff. Put them away. Don't lose the pieces. Please. Okay. Very cool. And then, last but not least, I have from... Big Cartoon Network show, I should say. It's definitely come back. 
So this is the reboot of Ben 10. I got Cannon Bolt. Very cool. Ben 10 figures came out, I don't even, I don't even know, a few years ago easily. Um, and Diggs got a lot of them. And I they're did. they're very, very cool. I love I love the Ben 10 uh, figures. Uh, I've watched most of the first seasons, first few seasons. Not all of them, though. I'll, I'll admit that. I haven't seen any, I haven't seen any of the new ones. But re-releasing a toy line for the Ben 10 is pretty exciting. And this is his first one that he picked up, Cannonball. 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 Then including in this Ben 10 series, we have Heat Blast. Do I read them? Uh, you have a diamond back. Oh, very good. Four arms. Four arms, yeah. Ben 10 and Gray Matter. Gray Matter. <laughs> Cannonball. Accelerate. Accelerate. <laughs> um, stink fly. I wonder what his power Overflow. is. Overflow. Wild vine. I can't. Dr. Animo. Upgrade. Steam Smith. That's a heck of a uh, different take on Steam and Smith. And Hex. Hex. Hex I haven't seen before. Yeah, Steam, Steam, what is it? Steam, Steam Smith. Steam Smith looks really different. Well, not really different, but comparatively different from the first version. He, look, he, looks, he looks upgraded, so pretty cool. So what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 figures in this first wave of figures. Uh, <laughs> Personally, here. the ones that I'm after are Ben and Gray Matter, Accelerate, Overflow, and Upgrade. The other ones I'm okay to get just because they're all cool. Yeah. But I'd prefer to get those because the, I don't know. Those are the ones you're after first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're very cool. So Ben 10, welcome back. Uh, yeah, really welcome back. It's more money out of our pockets. But hey, they're cool. They're worth it. I love these guys. Um, there's your first one. Cool? Cool. Uh, what else do you have? How many more things that you got? That is it. That's it? Except for the That's last it. thing? Except for the last How thing. How many things do you have to show? That's it. Not from Mighty Count, just in general. Oh, I'm one more. Okay. God, this guy. This guy. All right. That, we're going to say that one for last. So I think that's the coolest. So we're going to go right into our mystery box reveals here. Continuing our search. We have three weeks worth, right? So we have three Cartoon Network collection boxes we're opening with you today. This is uh, <laughs> a little fun tidbit. I found out the shop that I go to, Lost World of Wonders, which is where I'm buying these guys from. Apparently, so far, I am the only person buying these figures <laughs> from the store so my chances of getting all the figures that i'm wanting is pretty good because no one else is buying these guys <laughs> like uh the guy the guy who i the guy who does normally the checkouts he always smiles when he sees me he says oh here's the guy who buys the cartoon network collection figures so that's me so i'm okay with that again it's increasing my chances but i'm going after the uh characters from over the garden wall um and i'll also be very Glad to take anyone from Adventure Time and from Steven Universe. Everyone else, it's okay. So, three, so the three people I, I don't want to say I don't want, but I don't really have a need for them. There's three boxes here. What do you want to say? I get all three Ed, Ed, and Eddies. That's my luck. All I, right, so I personally wasn't a big fan of the show. I didn't. I didn't once know I watched it. it, I mean, I don't think this is an Ed, Ed, and Eddie though. So this feels totally different. So here we go. Hey, Darwin from the Amazing World of Gumball. I remember the name of the show this time. Amazing World of Gumball. Darwin. Very. Ah, uh, he's like oh he, he right. He. Yeah. Uh, he moves. He swivels. That's pretty cool. There's Darwin, everyone. I, I'll That's take this cool. one. Amazing World of Gumball, I will take. I know I didn't mention that before, but I am saying it now. Darwin, hold it up for me. That's pretty cool. Successful first pick. Let's roll the dice and keep going here. Number two mystery box from the Cartoon Network collection. Still waiting for my uh, Over the Garden Wall figures. I don't have any over the gar garden wall figures. So let's. You have two adventure times. I have two adventure times. Let's give me some over the garden walls. From what I can tell, not an over the garden wall. And then an Eddie? Uh, it feels big. Hey! Steven Universe, another property I will be gladly uh, taking and owning. Look at this guy. So his arms move. You saw me move his arms already. His head does move as well. 
very, very fun. So I believe um, I am wrong. Never mind. I thought he was one of the variant figures. Well, let's see. The chances of getting him were two out of 18. That's pretty low odds. Darwin, one out of 18. So hold Steven as well. All right, last box before we get to Diggs' big reveal. I think it's the coolest item that we have to show you on I this am, week's Revelations. I watched the Steven Universe episodes from Sling TV, but yeah. the thing is, they still have Lars's head on there, and that's the one that I saw forever ago. I, I oh, want, they haven't caught up then? No. It, they haven't really caught up. I really want to watch it because it's my favorite <laughs> TV show. It is, yeah. You really, you really like that Steven Universe. I do. All right, last reveal. It's not Ed and Eddie. That's a good thing. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie. But I can't tell who it is. The first from the over the garden wall. Odds of getting her, one out of 18. Welcome, Beatrice. I am happy. This is probably the most successful mystery box reveals I've had ever. In one, on one show. Well, I don't want to say one show. Yeah, I'll say one show because it's the most current. I'm going to say it. And it's our show, so I can say it. And if I'm wrong, who's going to correct me? You probably will. Um, Beatrice from Over the Garden Wall. Uh, I'll take her. She is awesome. Let's see what she does. Her head moves. And her head That's moves. it. That's it. Beatrice, awesomely fun tragic character in the show over the garden wall again if you haven't seen over the wall garden wall digs how do you find that show you go on hulu and watch it all you have to search is like ove or something like that it should appear or something. <laughs> yeah it, it's it's still on hulu it still is so uh it's amazing. Go, go watch it so beatrice is one out of 18 the other two i need is wart and he's two out of 18 or one ninth if you know how to do fractions um, and then Greg, the mystery figure. No, he's not. There's a chance to get a normal version, two out of 18, uh, the same as uh, Wirt. Um, but there's also a mystery version or a variant of, of Greg as well. And that's one out of 36. That means I should just buy the whole case, the, the ones that are remaining, because they'll probably, they'll probably be in there. But until then, Beatrice, welcome to the collection. Darwin, welcome to the collection. Steven, welcome to the collection. All right, Diggs, I'm going to hold these guys while you round the show out with probably the coolest piece that we're revealing to you, although this is pretty cool. These really, are pretty cool. Yes. Really pretty. quickly, I do know the Steven Universe mystery figure packs. Yeah. That I get, yes. So those, I have the crystal gems with Steven on, in one of those box shelves yeah. that are vertical. You have that. Yeah. Yeah. I like those. That's vertical. That's vertical. Go up and down is vertical. Okay. Yeah. So I'll put Steven there. Last but not least, I got this forever ago because. Was well, not forever ago. It's <laughs> been the ago. last couple of weeks. Yeah, it might have been like a year ago. <laughs> it was not a year. Two years. Go ahead. So I saw this on a poster and I was like, or no, we were eating at Denny's. And who was eating at Denny's? Me. All right. The Bandit. And Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> All right. So we were eating at Denny's, and I was looking around at the other customers. They were gladly eating breakfast. And somebody had a cool cup. There was, it was a kid. Kid had a cool cup. And I was like, I have to have it. Is that suede? Suede. I love suede. You keep saying that. It's from a commercial, in case you haven't known. If you didn't get the reference. But yeah, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. It's the first time I said it. Okay. Maybe the second. Continue. So, Denny's red. Denny's are having pancakes or something. Go ahead. Um, so I saw it, and I was like, I have to have it. Because it's so cool. It was cool. And then I saw a poster. Like, we were sitting here. Whoa! <laughs> you probably missed it. I know you're missing it. Because this is, this is probably some of our viewers' digs. They're... Some of the viewers are probably like this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and I'm checking my Facebook alerts. And yeah, I'm checking this too. That's what they probably, so they, they probably missed it. They probably missed it. So go ahead, Diggs. So I was like, so we were sitting here and then 
directly across over here was the door, and there was a poster showing three cups. One cups. Okay. that was this one, this is which is cool. One that was from Trolls. Oh, and okay. another one that was from How to Train Your Dragon Toothless. Those sound cool. They what were. could possibly be more cooler than that? Than those? It's what I saw it and I was like, so once, the, so I was like, yeah, it's cool. So once the once the waitress came around, yes, um, we asked her for some or to see how we can get one of those, and we just had to pay a couple dollars for it. All right, add it onto the bill, and then we had it. So I chose is... lemonade for the content. <laughs> Okay. I chose lemonade for the contents, yeah. and I liked it. All right, that's a good yeah. good lead into this one. So, the cup is none other than a Netflix original show. Netflix people. Ultron. Look at this cup. Go ahead, get a little this closer way. if you want. There you go. So Voltron. Um, We've talked about Voltron a little bit before, and uh, this cup is probably the coolest cup I may have ever seen in my life. These cups, this cup is actually, I think, better than those Star Wars cup toppers from Phantom Menace. My opinion. Um, I'd rather have these. This one. So this is Voltron, Denny's exclusive. But I love the, I love this. That sells it. They, this is artwork. I mean, the artwork is always there. And it's just, you know, it's cup, it's put on the cup and everything. But this is what makes this cup the, but it made the helmet me like, of the, yeah, of the like, black yeah, line. Yeah, it's just, it's just that. They could have just drew it on the cup. No. You may be like, what? Well, yeah, it's just handles, right? Yeah, handle. It's not. It's... Well, no, I broke it. You no. broke it, Diggs. Now we got to go back to Denny's and get another one. It's... Put a couple more dollars on a bill. Is a headband. <laughs> so look at that. Now Diggs is the legendary defender. Voltron. Diggs. Diggs will form the head. Very cool cup. Very cool accessory, obviously. And I think well worth those few extra dollars that I'm sure you didn't pay for. <laughs> but just throw on the bill. That's all it is. I love I love working with Oh you. no. Um very cool cup. I like that cup a lot. What's the matter? to mention something that I got. I can't get it, but I may as well say it now. Um, so, on Xbox, I got a new game called Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Why would you get that game? It's been out for a while now. And it's because my friends um, always play this game, and they are addicted to it, and I just reached level 20 today so I can play ranked. Okay. Pretty cool story, and that's a, that's a revelation about a new gameplay on the Xbox One. That's the platform we play on. Um, this is our revelations for these past three weeks. I hope you enjoyed everything here. If you did, you can follow us to see even more content, more exclusive pictures on stuff we're working on or stuff we're displaying on Snapchat and Instagram, and you can find us there as IceboxCast. Uh, follow us on Twitter. We post all of our links on Twitter as well, at IceboxCast. Uh, YouTube, the way you're watching this right now, you can see us um, on the channel Icebox Space Cast. Two words there. Don't forget to tap the bell icon to get notified of every time we upload. Thank you very much, Dix, for that. And press subscribe. Please do. It means a lot to us. Um, you can follow our podcasts. We're developing a new one called Comics Complex, as well as the original mother podcast of them all, The Icebox. Um, you can find us there on iTunes and SoundCloud or other uh, podcasting apps like Beyond Pod. And all you have to do is search Icebox, one word. Uh, you can see us on Facebook. Please check us out on Facebook. We have a tons of our uh, creations displayed on there, so even products that, you, that are made to order. Uh, you can find us there as well on Facebook by searching Inspired Creations H-O-M. Uh, that's about all I have for you this week. We will please... Be more consistent with this. We had a bit of a lapse. Three weeks is a pretty serious lapse, but we're back. Um, this is Revelations. I am the most influential speaker from the House of M. This is Diggs. We are signing off. Please, I want to say thank you for everyone who's watching us. Subscribe, share us, 
um, and let us know how we're doing, all right? Until next time, uh, that's all we got. And I want to say, please remember, it is never too late to create and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye.